It was the final road game of the regular season for the Wisconsin Badgers as they made the trip to West Lafayette to take on the Purdue Boilermakers. We'll look back at some of the action from Saturday's game at Ross Age Stadium. Badgers have had to count on a lot of young players this season. In some cases, not so young. A veteran by the name of Evan Bondock who has stepped up. A senior involved in a couple of interceptions when he's played in the secondary this season. We'll get up close with the senior out of Madison's Edgewood High School. And we'll have our weekly sit-down with head coach Paul Christ. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. First down and 10. Badgers go right to left here in the third quarter. And off Jonathan Taylor. Big hole left side. 25 to the 30. Outside the numbers. He's to the 40. Taylor to the 50. Down the sideline. To the 30. To the 20. 10. 5. Touchdown. Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor. An 80-yard run. And that's how the second half begins. Cohen barking out the signals. Play clock is at 12. Game clock at 647. Cohn looking to throw, left side, end zone, it is, in, is caught by Danny Davis, touchdown Wisconsin, oh my goodness, he pulled it down somehow, some way, as the Badgers pull within a score with 640 remaining. Cohn calls for the ball, takes the snap, looks the throw, he goes deep, left side, Davis, got it, and it is caught, touchdown Wisconsin! Danny Davis again with tight coverage. He beats Blackman, and the Badgers are on the brink of tying this one up with 2.51 remaining. Jonathan Taylor to the left of Jack Cohn in the gun. Cohn takes, he'll hand it Taylor running right. Taylor to the 10, to the five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor from 12 yards out. Two receivers right, one on the left. Cone gives to Groshek, running over the right side of the line, dives to the end zone, touchdown, Wisconsin. Garrett Groshek from four yards away. Badgers take the lead in the second overtime. Second down and two for the Badgers. Trips to the right, Taylor to the left of Jack Cone. Takes a snap, hands to Taylor, running right to the 15. Taylor to 10, Taylor to five, touchdown, Wisconsin, and the Badgers win it. Taylor from 17 yards away as the Badgers in three overtimes defeat Purdue 47 to 44. We need it to, to get a touchdown and you never know when that play is. So, you know, when you're out there, you're just going as hard as you can to try to to try to make it that play because you never know when it is. And, you know, I just want to send these seniors off the end of the season, you know, in, in the right direction. And I want to let them know that, you know, I'm working for them. It's just unbelievable. You know, there's not enough words to describe, uh, you know, him and just our offense in general. I mean, it's a bunch of gritty guys, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. Picked off by T.J. Edwards, and he's all alone. In zone, it is caught for the touchdown. To the 20, to the 10, five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Pressure, and he is sacked just outside the goal line. A big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by Mercedes-Benz. Drive yours at Zimbrick European. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> spirit of Wisconsin. Eddie feels it. Kim embraces it. Even brother and sister get along. Friendship, warmth, and good cheer. 
That's Gamulikite. And that's Wisconsin. My salesperson is Joe Santowski. And from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. There is a boy who likes tractors and trains. A boy whose heart was far too strained. He was sick, you see, with a heart that broke. His heart needed fixing. His family needed hope. Enter our doctors with their newfangled tests. Enter our teams whose care is the best. Healthy and happy, the little boy's back. Playing with tractors and trains on his track. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. That's something that you watch on TV. Uh, you watch a, a great game, and it, it goes into overtime. Someone scores the game, and a touchdown. And you know, as a kid, you're watching and saying, "That man, that must feel amazing." And, and it's the exact same feeling that you dream of. And uh, you know, but then you kind of step back, and then you realize you know, it wasn't for the celebration. It, it was for the team. It, it was for because you love the guys. You, you want to see those guys with a smile on their face at the end of the game. So it was definitely a good feeling. Simply execution. We have guys who can make plays like that all the time, every game, every play. Um, but we just haven't. But tonight, when we needed it most, we did. And that's really encouraging. It's fun to, to be a part of that. But it's simple. It's just execution. Because you've got the guys who are talented enough to make plays like that. If you can execute, it'll all be there. We all are just saying to each other, you know, let's go down and win this thing. You know, I feel like we all just rallied around each other and uh, we got it done. Just great to win, you know. Uh, it's tough, always tough losing, and to get a win, especially in overtime like this, is pretty special. Well, we were telling the defense, you know, we just need one more, you know, one more. We kept telling them one more, then they would score. We said, we know we told you one more last time, but we need one more. And you know, I wanted to make sure, you know, they, they held them to a field goal. You know, we told them one more enough, and I just decided, you know, I want to do everything in my power to to make this the final one, and uh, you know, show appreciation to our defense. What's fun is it, it takes everyone, and. Uh, we needed everyone to, to contribute, and certainly did. And I think obviously JT was phenomenal, and uh, and he'd be the first one to to acknowledge all that you know everyone else did around him. And I thought defensively came up with some big stops, and it was part of the way that Jack kept competing. And, and uh, this was a resilient win, and uh, feels good. It's, it's the whole team, you know, to be able to come together. That's what I thought was the most important thing I thought was so special because we actually came together in adversity, you know, coming back um, and being able to finish a game together. That was the biggest thing. Ever since she can remember, she's wanted to become a doctor, a surgeon to be exact. Maybe it's because she's good at science or because she loves math. Or maybe it's because Lydia was born with a serious craniofacial anomaly a cleft lip and palate that required a series of complex surgeries. And now she just wants to help others, just like the surgeons at UW Health helped her. UW Health in the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Blau takes the snap, Badgers rushing four. Blau under pressure. Andrew Van Ginkle just whips him to the turf at the 20 yard line. Blau back to throw, pressure coming. Blau got away from Bond. Van Ginkle racing in there and he gets the sack. Well, Bond was boring down on Blau. He couldn't get him. Van Ginkle did at the 37 yard line of Purdue. Well, the seasons do move quickly in college football. The Badgers are down to their final home game of this regular season. It's the annual battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, in a few minutes, but it, the final home game, it's not the end of a book, I guess, but it closes a chapter on, on a lot of these guys, and everybody has a story. We talk about this every year, but I, I, well, let's start with guys we've talked about quite a bit. Your inside linebackers, Ryan Conley and TJ Edwards. Uh, you know, they came here for a reason, but you talk about guys maximizing the opportunities, uh, that'd be a pretty good place to start with those two. It's a great place to start, and it's, uh, it's always, uh, 
you, you, you feel a lot of emotions. Uh, you know, certainly I think the players do. You know, um, it's funny, even when you, you first were kind of introducing this, you talked about how the season go fast. And, you know, I'm amazed at how the days are long, mm -hmm. but the, the weeks go by so fast. And, and I think it's hitting, you know, our players and, and that, wow, last home game, you know, at Camp Randall. And, and, and this class has had so many great moments here. And the number of different teams that they've played on and guys that they've played with. And, and you talk about, you know, a starting point and reflecting on what TJ and Ryan have done. And, uh, and you're right, both their, their journeys were different and yet there's, you know, always parallels when they played side by side and, and in big games. And, and uh, I'm just so impressed with the level that they've played at and, you know, kind of the bar that they've set for playing that position. And it's uh, the thing you'll appreciate and I'll miss the most though is how they go about it. You know, each day they bring such great energy and focus and, and, um, and fun to it. And that carries over on game days. And, and it's one of those that you say it to as many of the young players as you can, but I hope you're seeing what this is. And that's when you look back and, and you just see all these players. You're gonna, I've been lucky now. I've been with them for four years and and there's a lot in this group that I am truly going to miss, and yet you're happy for them, right? They've, they've not only exhausted their career, but I think they've made the most of it in so many ways. And you know, whether it's Bo Benchwell or Michael Dieter, Michael Capoy, I've got so much respect for, and and, um, and certainly the our kicker, our kicker's going to be. We were, and TJ knows it. Yeah, I might I might just bronze his chair right there, and just like no one's going to sit in the house chair because. He has a way to make every day enjoyable, and, and you go down the list, you know, I feel terrible for Olive, you know, and, and yet he's been around and, and, and seeing him, and, and everyone's got their story. I'm so proud of Taiwan Deal and how he approached this year and, and what he's been able to do, and, and I know there's guys, you know, Evan Bondock had his moments. There's guys I'm missing, but it's a, it's a neat group. You're covering a, a guys from all different parts of the of the country there, or in, in American Samoa, right. in the case of Alive Song of Polo. I've always thought, the, for, from my perspective, that's one of the fascinating things about sports, is that you have guys from all different backgrounds, but now they have to come together, and as cliche as it sounds, they come together for a set of common goals Sports gives you that. I'm not sure how many other walks of life do give you that. I don't know, but you could take our team and however someone wanted to put them into different categories or boxes, we could probably do that. You know, and it, and yet when you do come together for common cause and common purpose, and then to see the friendships and the the relationships that are formed that are truly lifelong. It is, uh, that's one of the neatest things about being a part of a team, and, and especially then when you get to do it with a, a team of really good guys, guys that you enjoy being around, and guys that help each other in so many ways. And it's, uh, certainly we know that the game is when a lot of people see kind of who are these people, but that's such a small part of the whole experience. And so I truly am thankful for having had the opportunity to be with this group for the four years. and. Uh, you know, this is a group that you can bet on. They're going to continue to be successful, whether it's some playing again, but all, you know, Dakota Dixon, I'm going yeah. to miss a ton. And you talk about a great pleasure to be around him and to learn from him. <laughs> uh, it, it goes on and on. Sports can give you, on the outside looking in, seemingly unlikely friendships, too. You mentioned T.J. Edwards and Rafael Gaglianoni, All-American linebacker and a kicker. When Mark Tauscher played here, he roomed with, Matt Davenport and Vitaly Pasetsky, yeah. a pair of kickers, but uh, that, that's how it works. Maybe we shouldn't be surprised. No, and maybe you should make sure that you, <laughs> if you're rooming with kickers, you'll be an All-American, so it would be a great player like Tom, so <laughs> maybe that's something I just took away from that, is let's make sure we got those guys, but it is, it is something that, uh, like I said, the relationships and the bonds, and you know, I've always thought this, that, that football is what's going to, it kind of starts relationship, it, it brings us all together. But at the end of it, if all we have is football, we've missed the boat. And, and I think this group can truly walk away with having had a great football experience and also unbelievable relationships and getting a degree from this place. You know, all of them are, are doing that. It's, uh, this group has maximized the opportunity and that 
uh, is something worth celebrating. I want to preface the last question here. It's the last home game. It's not the last game. But at the beginning of the conversation, you talk about the days are long, but the season goes quickly. And maybe some fans know this. Maybe many don't. What all, and probably most of us just don't know to be dangerous, what goes into it with players? Winter conditioning, summer conditioning, fall camp. The investment is year-round, but do you ca as long as you've been doing this, do you catch yourself when you get to the end of November saying, already? I mean, you get so locked in, and before you know it, that 12th game is, is behind you. You truly do, and it's, I think there's, uh, probably in a good way, there's a routine to each week, and each day of the week has its own, you know, this is what we do, and this is what we've got to get done. And I think, you know, you put that on top of the players going to, going to classes and, and all the other things that they're dealing with. But it's, it truly is, the days are long, you know, and, and I think everyone I put a ton of time into it, but it, it flies by and, and maybe it's a little bit more the older you get, but uh, I remember that as a player and, and talking to our players now. And, and so that's why you just want them each and every day to, to appreciate it and kind of enjoy that moment because those will also be the moments that they're going to miss when they're when they're done playing. All right, Badgers closing out the regular season at home against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Speaking of the battle for the axe, Coach will be back with this week's Great Dane, Great Question of the Week. And that is the topic. We'll hear from him in a few minutes as we continue with the Badgers Sports Report. My salesperson is Joe Santowski. And from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone and every job? Test drive and save during harvest demo days. Like a 6075 four-wheel drive, a 9125, a 2538 or 2638 HST, and a 1526 or 1626 HST. And test drive Mahindra's utility vehicles too. Only from the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Hurry in for the best savings of the year at your Wisconsin Mahindra dealer. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college <laughs> athletics. Back to throw is Thorson, and he fires, and it's batted in the air, and then picked off. That was Conley on the tip, and Bondock on the pick. I think just trying to be, you know, like a sponge of information. You know, there's been so many great guys that have come before me, you know, like Caputo, Leo Musso, Joe Ferguson, guys that I could learn from, and guys I just tried to be around and learn as much as I could from, and see the way they approach every day in practice, games, you know, on and off the field, and. Just trying to you know, model what I do after them because obviously they had a lot of success and just trying to trying to get better and, and kind of they taught me how to do that. It's been great just to see his confidence grow. Um, you always knew he was going to be where he, where he needed to be. He was going to be able to communicate everything on the defense. Um, you know, we put him in different roles, you know, whether it was playing slot corner and stuff like that just because you, you knew he had a great understanding of football. And, to me, it's, it's just a credit for him that when your name is called on, you're ready. And not only ready, but making plays and, and impacting games for us. Snap to Bush, Badgers rush four. Bush, it is he throws, it's a floater, and it is intercepted by Evan Bontoc. Bounces to the turf inside the 45-yard line of Illinois. I think the biggest thing is I just wanted to get out there and 
you know, get, get rid of those butterflies and just kind of get comfortable being out there. Because I knew, like, I was confident in myself, but it was more of just, it was those butterflies where it's just, I want to get out there and play. And just, just go and just, just go play because it's a lot of waiting going out to all this preparing all week. And at the end of the day, you just want to go, go play. The three-time academic all-conference player from Madison was forced to step into a starting safety role due to injury, and he responded. Obviously, Dakota makes a huge impact when he's out there, so it's a huge uh, gap to fill when, when he's not on the field as, as the leader. So I was trying to do whatever I could to you know, hold the standard of our room and his standard because it's obviously a very high-quality one, and I just wanted to do whatever I could. And you know, the rest of the guys on the defense obviously stepped up and, and played great to, to help with that. As a senior in a defensive backfield full of youth, Von Dock not only played, but had to lead as well. I might not had as much game experience as some other guys, but it's you know finishing in practice, finishing a rep, and knowing how to watch film and prepare the right way, and just focusing you know when you're on the field and stuff like that. It's a bunch of little things that I thought I tried to lead by example and you know, bring them along with. Von Dock has graduation to look forward to in December and then hopefully law school. But finishing his senior season up strongly, that's up first. Couldn't be happier for that kid because it's been the same way his whole career, whether it was special teams or defense, just whatever you ask him to do, he's gonna do it. He's not gonna say a word and he's gonna try to make sure everybody around him is right. So uh, it's just an awesome story. You know, really going into your senior year, you wanna play your best football and there's no question he's done that. You know, I'm gonna miss it for sure. Um, I loved my time here, and like I said earlier, trying to enjoy the, the last bit of it, because I know, you know when I'm out of it, I'm really gonna miss it, miss these guys and being around here and just getting to play every day and have fun. So, you know, I'll look back and I think it was a, a great experience, and hopefully I'll think that I, you know, maximized that and enjoyed every second of it. For the Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ, I'm Jay Williams. times like these when you've got to stay centered the 2018 Nissan Rogue with available pro pilot assist that can help keep you centered in your lane experience it only at your local Nissan store now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway get to Nissan proud supporter of college athletics who found a way to isolate a single prostate cancer cell hidden amongst a billion healthy blood cells. The ones pioneering advanced genomic testing in order to create personalized treatment protocols. They are the ones you want to talk to when the diagnosis is prostate cancer. They are the physicians and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the Carbone Cancer Center. UW Health, remarkable. The Learfield Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors' Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. hy V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time for this week's great day and great question of the week, and it comes from Eau Claire. Earl checking in, wants to know, Coach, no disrespect to the other trophy games, but is the battle for Paul Bunyan's axe the trophy game in the regular season for you? 
Earl, you know that answer. <laughs> and and it's, uh, it's been kind of, you know, I've appreciated it. I know personally, you know, the, having grown up with this and, and my dad was coaching here and he would recruit Minnesota, so it was always a big one. You know, if you can have bragging rights in the states, you've got to go recruit. And, and it's been fun for me to be around so many games now. And it's, uh, there is no disrespect to them, but this is the biggest trophy game and it's the trophy game for us and, and uh, our players know that and it's fun being around our guys and, and especially the older ones and, and explaining it to the young ones and the new ones and, and really I think they just see how they approach it and they understand quickly that this is different and uh, so I think you know we do certainly have other trophy games and, and those are important but this is you know, the battle for the axe is, is huge. It really is. We probably ask that question every year, but the answer always seems fresh. You can, it doesn't take you long to be around a coach or a player, either at Wisconsin or, or probably at Minnesota for that matter. You find out in a hurry how big this game is and how much that trophy matters. Thanks a lot for your question. A great day with the four locations in Madison, the east side of town, downtown Fitchburg and Hilldale, and a great day up in Wausau as well. Regular season concludes this Saturday. The Badgers at home against Minnesota, the annual battle for Paul Bunyan's Axe. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone and every job? Test drive and save during harvest demo days. Like a 6075 four-wheel drive, a 9125, a 2538 or 2638 HST, and a 1526 or 1626 HST. And test drive Mahindra's utility vehicles too. Only from the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Hurry in for the best savings of the year at your Wisconsin Mahindra dealer. My salesperson is Joe Santowski, and from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. Progress is an endless challenge. Here at the University of Wisconsin, we're a community of innovators in constant motion. We think on our feet, connect with each other, and hit our stride, pushing past limits. Progress is an endless challenge, but it is only those up to the challenge who change the game.